So if you guys are using the WooCommerce plugin, you guys might have noticed the emails that WooCommerce sends by default can be really ugly and there's also no way on how you can customize those emails. However, there is a new plugin that just came out that allows you to build each form from the ground up using a drag and drop builder. And the best part, it's completely free. So let's go ahead and just dive into how you guys can change your WooCommerce emails using this free plugin. So this is my current website. It is uh, using the Flatsome theme. I have a full tutorial on this if you want to learn how to make it. But let's go over here to our dashboard and we're going to go ahead and scroll down. A little slow, a little slow website. It's all good. It's in my demo website. It's, it's neglected, you know. Over here under appearance, I'm sorry, plugins, <laughs> we're gonna go to add new. Now under search plugins, you're gonna type in Yay Mail. Now I first discovered this plugin when I was doing my WooCommerce tutorial, when I was looking for just new plugins and I came across the Yay Mail WooCommerce email customizer. Now this is a plugin that you guys will need. So right here, go ahead and click on install now. Now there are other various WooCommerce email customizers like plugins. They might let you change like the color or the fonts, but this one you can kind of rebuild everything uh, from the ground up and you can also add elements within your uh, email. So go ahead and click on the activate button. All right, cool. And this is the one right here. It's called Yay Mail WooCommerce Email Customizer. Now go ahead and click on settings. All right, so this is the actual interface of customizing your emails. Now you can actually customize each specific email that users uh, receive. So let's say for example, uh, we have the completed order, the refunded order, you know, like, oh, come back next time, we're so sorry, you know, you know how that is. But uh, what I wanna do is I wanna customize the customer invoice and the order details. So I'm not gonna save this, this is for the new order. Now remember the new orders, those are the ones that you receive. The invoice orders are for customers. So it's pretty simple. Let's say, for example, I want to change this logo. You know, we can change the alignment of this logo or I can even change the image. So I'll go ahead and add in maybe like, a, I don't know, the Flatsum logo. I have a whole library here. This website's running a little slow. It's so sad, I should really update this website. But it's just a demo website. But I'll just use the Flatsum logo right here. And you guys can see it's really, really small. So I really wanna make that bigger like that. We can adjust the background color and we can kind of customize that. We can also have a URL. So for example, we can uh, put our website or a promotional offer. Now let's click on these little square icons. Now this looks very similar to Elementor. So we have a list of elements here and we can drag and drop these elements within our uh, form and then we can kind of move them around. So let's say for example, I want to just go ahead and uh, let's just keep this basic here. I'll take this image box and I'll drop it here. And maybe this can be some sort of upsell. You know, maybe they purchase something, but you wanna offer them a special discount for that one product, just one more, maybe they'll buy it. So let's say, for example, I will change this image and I'll make this a promotional, uh, a promotional uh, offer here. So looking like we can do something like this right here. This looks good. All right, so I just kind of customize it. I just center line the text. I made this image a little bit smaller by reducing the width. So you can kind of move this around so we can put this below, you know, below your order details or even below the actual order receipts. So you can kind of, you know, see how you can, you know, maneuver this and so on and so forth. But let's say for example, you know, I don't like the way this looks and maybe you want to put a different text in for this one because this looks really boring. So your order invoice for, I will put something like, uh, here is your receipt. Receipt, right, R-E-S-E, -E, uh, like that, right? Here is your receipt. And we can actually bold this. And then we can also mess around with these settings. You can underline it and you can kind of design each specific, um, you know, each specific elements. And uh, if you want to go ahead and change the actual, I believe we can change the font right here. Do they have my font? No, they do not. Oh, so sad. Hopefully they'll add a new font. Uh, we'll just do Arial. Oh, actually, no, that's kind of ugly. Like, let's just go back to, uh, yeah, that one's fine. And yeah, that's that. So let's go back to our little uh, icons here. So now we can just kind of drag and drop elements here and you can kind of just design it how you want. I really do like this drag and drop interface they have because what you can do with this is you can add uh, upsells, you can add you know different promotional offers you want uh, throughout your store, even on the purchase receipts. So here's an example of an email that I made earlier using this same plugin. So here we have the title. 
And what I did here is I put in a video instead. So let's say for example, someone purchases your product, right? And you know right off the back, they might have questions about it. If I click on this, what this will do is that this will open up a new video. And uh, I know it has this image thumbnail, but you can choose to put this using the, um, the video elements. And then below that, we have just some, you know, the order details. And then I did the same thing here. So I have this kind of this upsell and I've also put a link to a Facebook group. So let's say for instance, you want to link users to your Facebook group, so something like join the community. And I can go ahead and just, uh, what I'll do is probably just get rid of all this stuff join the Facebook community and I'll just make this a link, you know, make this a link and just guide them to my Facebook community. So we'll put in the Facebook URL right here. And uh, yeah, we can go ahead and link them our community or your social websites or whatever you want to do. And also let's go ahead and click right here. And I just want to kind of just um, talk a little bit about the video element. I do like that. So let's say for instance, right here, we um, will put it right there we have this uh, video, What you can do is you can change the actual overlay. So it doesn't have to be the actual overlay of the uh, video, you can make it your own. So I'll put this, put this beautiful white girl right here, or let's see, is that, is that, yeah, there we go. Beautiful white girl right here. And then we can go ahead and uh, scroll down and we can put the video URL. So let's say for instance, you want to link them to a tutorial or somewhere else, you can go ahead and do that by just submitting the URL right there. So I do like that option. I think that's really, really cool. And I think that can really help reduce the support tickets that you might get or, you know, the emails from our lovely customers because we all love getting emails or support questions uh, from uh, customers, right? Now here on the, the general tab, you guys can just change uh, general options about the size and the width and the color. The email settings, you can change, of course, the colors and you guys can actually save these templates and use them for other parts of your uh, your other emails. So um, yeah, you guys can use this drag and drop builder. They do also have the column elements, which I should have gone over. And here, I'll just drag this in and we can use the drag and drop builder. Now, I do like the fact that I put in the video here and then I put in the text next to it. I do like that combination because uh, we can let them know um, how this works. So uh, do you see here, need help? like this, need help, watch our tutorial video, need hell, help, there we go, help. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just make it bigger, something like that. And then yeah, we'd put the video here, we can change the overlay. And that's what I did for my example, because I feel like that's really helpful, especially for developers out there who are selling plugins. Um, I think the number one problem with uh, developers is their they don't have proper documentation. So you need help watch need help watch our tutorial video. Of course, this looks terrible, but you guys understand how we can kind of uh, add elements within our form to make it look really, really cool. And then once you're all done with all this stuff and you have customized it to your liking and you've spent hours customizing it to fit your niche, uh, you guys can actually click on save. And uh, that's it. So now your email has been saved. Also over here, WooCommerce, it actually has the elements from within the WooCommerce, like the building address. So if you do delete something on accident, don't worry, you guys can go ahead and put everything. Uh, you guys can drag in these elements here on the form, which is really, really cool. Now there also is one other thing I do wanna mention. For some servers, um, I was working with this on two servers, and sometimes there was a delay getting the email. So I would wait like like maybe an hour or two and I just didn't get the email. So there is a additional plugin that these guys offer that can kind of solve that problem just in case that uh, doesn't work out. So under search plugins, we'll type in yay mail. And there is the other plugin. It's gonna come up, there it is. All right, so the yay mail SMPT plugin, simple WP SMPT mail. Just click on install now. And then here you can put the from email, your name, and then select the default email or as you wish to do that. You guys can also just choose default and click on save changes. And if you do need help with it, uh, let me know in the comments below. SMPT guys, it's always tricky because it just depends on what email server you're using. It depends on the hosting. So it's really hard for me to kind of say, this will fix everything. You know, it's it, it, it can be uh, tricky. But anyways, this company is also creating other various WooCommerce plugins. So I will be following up on some of their other products. They do look promising, but that is how you guys can customize 
your uh, WooCommerce emails. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the description below. Have you guys used this plugin? Have you guys seen it? I did mention it recently in my WooCommerce tutorial, but just very briefly, but I just really wanna make a video explaining on how to use this plugin because I think it has massive potential because this is what we've always wanted uh, with the WooCommerce emails. But uh, plugins just offer like skins and colors and it's like, no, I wanna build it from scratch. So this is it, so this is the new product. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys will like it. Let me know in the question or in the comments below if you guys have any questions about this uh, plugin or WooCommerce because I pretty much know everything there is to know about WooCommerce. Not to brag, but I do have a lot of tutorials on it. But again, my name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take it easy.